Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting episode of Jumping with the Gyms. My name is Jim Meyer, and I'm here with my good buddy, Jim Felipe Esquire. And our guest today is Rachel Roberts. Woohoo! Rachel, what are you drinking? Java Porter! Awesome. I'm, you know what? I'm drinking some really exciting coffee, but it's disappearing, kind of like the uh, budget surplus in California. Um, so, it must be an empty cup, then. <laughs> Up. Well, yeah, no. <laughs> Actually, there's a, just a one little drop left. Okay, so I got a good one. It involves lawyers and real estate. So y'all are going to like this. Mm. I have this Woo. condo in a really nice area. And my parents, they originally bought it, like, gosh, back in the 90s. Well, at some point, they wanted to sell it. And they there was a guy that was very interested, a lawyer. Uh -oh. And not a good one, like one of those really bad like it's bad lawyers. So anyway, he was saying, I really want it, but I want I don't I'm gonna I wanna do one of those what is it, owner by finance. Okay, yes. So he put like Very a little good. down and then he was only asked to pay like I think three hundred and fifty dollars a month. And sometimes he'd pay it, sometimes he wouldn't. Well, my parents died in 2012 and mm -hmm. I went over there to let the guy know, hey, I just want to let you know that I'm, you know, every we had a family trust. Everything went into the trust. I'm an only child. Do not worry. Your money that you are sometimes sending is going to the same mm -hmm. place because it's all, you know, in the same stuff. And he laughed at me and he says, you will never see another dollar from me again. I am going to go to court and for the rest of my life, like, and I will just continue just keep making prolonging this so it's you're never going to get anything from me and he would go around the complex and laugh and tell people i got this condo which is in this really nice area for free oh. and you know what that was 2012 and i've had several different lawyers that have tried in each they, they, they eventually they tell me you know what you're never going to get this thing back because this guy finds he 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 comes to court and instead he 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 says the strangest things like one time it was well your mother didn't send me a statement my quarterly statement like he just prolongs the whole legal process so that nothing ever gets resolved and i've never seen another penny i can't get it back it's like the weirdest like baloney he's ever heard well i'm gonna throw something out there and then jim will tell me if i'm crazy uh you should be able to foreclose on the guy you're the holder of the note uh so jim am i wrong it just depends uh you know it depends on what this the structure of that agreement was with your mother and mm -hmm. if it was a recordable instrument if there was the option for foreclosure you know there's it sounds like there's a lot of layers to this onion that <laughs> back and you know it might be worth some uh, an investment in a in a pretty good attorney that's gonna be able to get this guy out of there there should be no reason why he's still there after 11 years i would i don't know i mean i just feel like you know i like i said i'm not a lawyer i'm not a I'm but not how many lawyers, lawyers have you talked to uh rachel oh wow well <laughs> i i guess now i'm on my third lawyer and the one i'm using now um i've had for a couple of years and um you know it's like he, he just he's, it's like the bills just the fees keep adding up and nothing's really happening and so finally i said you know what i'm not gonna pay you until like you know because nothing's happening what are you doing for me nothing yeah is, no that's nothing insane is, uh -huh. yeah so i told him and he said well i'll keep working on it and then when we get it back he wants like, you know, 30 or 40% of the sale of the place. Oh my. And it's like I said, in Houston, there's an, there's an area called like the Galleria area and it's, it's in the Galleria area, which is a very upscale. So, I mean, you know, what a, what a, what a P, you know, penis. <laughs> Sorry. Exactly. Yeah. No, I, uh, Jim, uh, do you know people in Houston? I mean, do you have like a network of, uh, I don't know anybody specifically in Houston, but I can certainly reach out to my network and see if I can find somebody. For yeah. Me. That just all sounds all very not above board and um, certainly not the way I do business. And so, yeah. Well, I liked the way you did business because yesterday when we were talking, you mentioned that yours was free. 
<laughs> there you go. Well, the initial, the initial case. case is just to you know to make sure it's a case that uh, you know we both want to work on together. You know. Yeah. And, but I'll tell you, Rachel, that uh, this sounds kind of familiar because I have a client. I think he went through two attorneys, and then I got him to go with Jim, and he de- he had the same thing where the attorney kept saying, uh, "You know, I'm working on this. I'm working on this." And I said to my guy, well, yeah, it's been six months. He says, no, Jim, it's been 22 months. I said, call Felipe right now. Call him. He did. Felipe just filed something. They're going to have a court date. And Jim knows what to do. And if he does it, then he finds the person that knows what to do. So, the, I mean, you're being played. and uh, Yeah, by, the, by both sides, I think, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah you have an attorney that doesn't know what they're doing. And you have a thief, a con man. And yeah. uh, so, but now you have a friend in the attorney business and in the real estate business. So we're going to see what we can do to help you out. Uh, but you have cool. to promise us one thing that you're going to come back tomorrow. You got it. Woo! All right. We're going to see you guys again tomorrow for another exciting episode of Java with the Gyms. Thank you very much.